Hi, folks. Hi, Taylor. Oh, yeah. Good morning. All right. Um, well, I am just in recovery from COVID, but I'm feeling pretty good today. Hi, guys. Hey, Ben. Has anyone added agenda items to the meeting notes yet? I posted the link in Zoom chat. I think I can share my screen. Mm -hmm. All right. If you can add your name and any agenda items to the meeting notes. Let's see. Upcoming events. Didn't look like we have anything yet. Does anyone um, want to verbalize anything that they'd like to add or just type it in? Uh, Taylor, it's all over. I'm not, I'm not uh, sure. I'm looking at the dot the meeting notes here now uh, i know we typically go through um pull requests and i we did that last time i think there was at least two that were still open um uh, i'm not sure how much has happened you know probably lots of people are busy as we've come back from the beginning of the new year right but i think that we do have some that have kind of stalled um maybe just need to just remind us all to to, to review them including myself for bringing it up. <laughs> All right, we'll check out those. Anything else? Um, a couple of weeks ago, Taylor, you mentioned a spreadsheet, which I shared before about cloud nativeness, um, sort of cloud native assessment questions. I, I have found, you found it? Uh, yeah, it, it may be the same one that you're talking about. <laughs> That's what it's uh, uh -huh. um, I'll share the link and check if it's the right one. All right. I'll put it in the chat. It's on Google Docs and it's open. So. Request access. Is it limited access? Uh, oh, I didn't think so. Yeah. Requested. Uh, should I refresh? Should it be good? No, I, I think it's because I created it under my Vodafone account and I'm restricted you can't who I make can. it viewable for everybody. Not that I can see, I shall try. I'll just put another link on the All right. work. Why don't you oh I see it. Uh, you need permission to access the document published. Okay. 
I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll fiddle around. Oops. No problem. Let's, um, I'm just going to add it to the, is, is it something about ops? Ops um, are targeting like ops teams, IT, everything, cloud native. I can't remember exactly the title. Um, so it was, it, it's called just cloud native assessment questions. And it, there was we around, go. it was around the cloud nativeness of a solution from a seen by the platform point of view. That's what it was. Yeah, that sounds right. So just drop it in there whenever you get to it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, does anyone else have anything to add? All right. So um, notice daylight savings change in March. Um, so can affect when people join this call. KubeCon AU, and one of the things um, that'll be new is a co-located event, uh, Cloud Native Toco Day. It'll be there um, with KubeCon AU. CFPs are open. I'd love to see some submissions there. And if anyone is interested in sponsoring, I think the info should be on the main page. Otherwise, reach out. And if you have questions um, about it, let me know. Um, open Source Summit and EU and uh, NA are both open right now if folks want to submit to this. <clears throat> All right. controls go away. Hide floating meeting controls. There we go. All right. Has there been any progress on the air gaps? Let's see. This is back in November, Honkai. Some more questions. All right. So I think we should start seeing more of Jeffrey over the next few weeks. And then maybe this one will get done. So I'm just going to go on. If, if y'all haven't seen this, you're on the call and you haven't seen it, um, go check out this. It's a set of user stories um, related to the uh, air gapped environments that can give some context whenever we're talking about uh, best practices and gotchas and other issues that could run into uh, cloud native uh, methodologies and Kubernetes environment. All right, so let's see. We have the, this one, I don't know if Ian's on the call. You on the call, Ian? All right. <clears throat> so this one is about when you have an exception on the ability to follow a best practice and ensuring that you communicate to everybody concerned why you're not able to follow it. Um, any type of workarounds or something. So let's say it's a security type of best practice, maybe not running processes as the root user or having a privileged um, pod, um, something such as that, or mounting proc from the host file system, whatever it may be, <clears throat> where there's a best practice, a security best practice um, related to it running things with the least amount of privileges. And you may have a very valid reason that everyone, including the end consumers, service providers, the ops team running it may agree with. The idea here is to communicate that. So there's some information in this one about 
communicating it and some thoughts around around that and talking about the motivation here and everything else. So this one's pretty straightforward and it's just a little bit different from most of them because we're essentially talking about what do you do when you're not going to follow best practice. I think this one should be pretty um, agreeable, I think, to most folks. We need to have exceptions and we should document them so that everybody's aware. But right now I'm not seeing any comments. So if folks have any thoughts, we can add them right now if you wanna discuss this or you can <laughs> review it and please add. I'm gonna put uh, some reviewers on here. Go ahead. No, I just have a question um, because I saw the title saying working in progress. Um, so that means that it is, it is complete and we can start reviewing it or at least can it's, you remove the working progress label? It's not that? complete, but I think um, we wanted some feedback from folks to keep moving it forward. Okay. I'm gonna Hi Taylor, this is John Fulman, how are you sir? Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I haven't um, been very active in this, in this community. I've been so busy with client work, I apologize, but I joined today and one of the reasons why I wanted to speak up at this point is um, I'm part of the Cardiac Office Working Group within the CNCF. We launched it at KubeCon North America last year. And uh, the team and I- what, I'm sorry, what group again? Can you repeat? I'm sorry, Cardiac Office. Oh, okay. And so it's about maturity for CNCF models. Uh -huh. uh, including security, people technology, and everything else. It kind of talks about what you are with this section over here when it comes to best practices. Uh -huh. That's a big part of what we do within the group. And we try to bring this to the CNCF. And right now we're trying to talk to other techs as well and how we can incorporate kind of graphics with other techs as well. And th this may be one where we may be able to do some kind of, you know, um, join such together on, on, this, on this topic as well. Um, if that makes sense. Yeah, that, that sounds great, John. I'd, I'd love to um, collaborate. Yeah, as a matter of fact, maybe we can even do a presentation on one of your meetups where we can talk about Kyker Office and how we can help you know, drive these kinds of conversations, especially when it comes down to compliance and those kinds of things as well. If that uh, makes sure, sense. why don't you, uh, do you have my email still? Uh, why don't you, can you just, if you just text it to me, or I'll, I'll capture right yeah. now, and I'll send you an, an email show today. And then, and yeah, and we can um, maybe set something up and talk, and then figure out a, a yeah. format um, sure. on where, 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 and how long, and all the other things. Yeah, that'd be great, Jill. And again, I apologize. I just been uh, I've wanted to be active in the community for so long, and um, <laughs> and I, I follow everything. I just haven't been able to join the the meet, the meetups. But thank you. I'll, um, I'll contact you, you soon then, thank you. Sounds great. <clears throat> All right, um, any other comments or thoughts on this one before I move on to the next? <clears throat> All right. Okay, Oliver, um, do you want to, I can stop sharing my screen for a moment. Maybe you go through this one. Or would you like me to? What do you well, think? Well, the only thing is, unfortunately, I, I've got to drop in 10 minutes. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it through it. Um, we did go through this, uh, and I'm happy to do it again. Um, sure, I'll let you have your nine minutes or however long that's left. And then I can step well, in as soon as you have to go. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe for the interest of everyone's time, I mean, I'm happy to do that. But um, I know I recognize some faces on the call now, so I don't want to bore people to death. Um, ah. is, there, is, is there anybody here who has not seen this? I guess maybe just like, I don't know, just throw something in the chat or something if you don't want to otherwise just verbally make sure that I'm not wasting people's time. Otherwise, I'm happy to give you kind of a quick tour through this. 
Uh, I guess what is remaining before we get some approvals? The only thing I'm seeing is there were some uh, comments from Pankai um, regarding IT versus NF. So maybe adding something that was more specific and you had some responses to that. Um, yeah. I do th think, uh, I, I don't know if I had commented in the past, I think it's very important for us to keep in mind that whatever the domain is, it's possible to learn and apply it in some way into the networking and telecom domain. Um, and so we, we don't always have to go specific, but of course, providing some context so that people can relate it yeah. to the domain that they care about can be helpful. <clears throat> for sure. And I think, I think, you know, I mean, not to debate it here since he's not, he's not here, but um, you know, I, I would actually encourage, I think, you know, and in fact, for anyone, for the, it sounds like everybody has heard this before. Um, you know, when I, when I put the user story, use, you know, use case slash user stories, I mean, they were very much from the perspective of, you know, what many would call, you know, online charging, what I call convergent charging today, because it's really, you know, as if you look at sort of 5G, this is a, you know, a portion of this is part of the 5G core. Um, so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's, there's not a question that it's there's networking uh, involved here. Um, but, you know, I did try to, you know, just open the, you know, the, the scenarios up a little bit to give others, you know, an opportunity to say, oh, wait a minute, I have some kind of a similar in other areas or other aspects or other functions. I see some of the same kind of challenges and be able to expand on that. So I think Kankai, you know, he, he recognizes, well, there are some other areas where, and that's that's perfect, that's great. I think, you know, I would encourage just to, to add those, uh, propose adding those to the to the list because um, persistent data is is necessary. Uh, and I think that, you know, it would be beneficial for us to to have some outlines, some best practices uh, for this as we're, as we are marching along here in cloud native uh, best practices. So I don't know what's holding us back, uh, Taylor. I mean, people are, I have encouraged people to add, um, but I don't have yet to see anyone saying, well, that's not a use case or that's not a, you know, that's not, that's not true. All right. Um, I, I'd like to get this, <clears throat> this one specifically pushed through. Um, I'm, would be happy for Pankai to, contribute some things around these um, topics uh, out of this networking uh, paper from Usenix or contribute them to a new document wherever they happen to fit. Uh, we, as you know, the, all of this is supplemental content, these use cases, user stories, this sort of thing to help with best practices that we then want to see how we can apply them. That's what this is about. And any additional content that gives us context and helps us to see where things can be applied, should be applied or should not was great. All right, I'm gonna open this again uh, like this. So we have quite a few people on the call um, I'm going to just ask, has, have folks on the call, who's been able to look at this? I've gone through these. I went through them, of course, several times with you, Oliver. So has anyone else looked through these other than when um, Oliver went through it with everybody? I haven't read it, so I cannot thank yet. All right. No, I have another chance. Uh, oh. Well, um, I tell that this is not my turf, but I need to go I can go over it. Um, I only partially heard you, Ben. Um, I thought that this was not really my turf, but uh, you know, I'm I'm happy to go over it if, if you want. Yeah. 
Oh, well, I think the use cases and user stories um, may have areas where security can be applied since security um, is pretty much everywhere. Uh, probably the same uh, cigar with uh, yourself. Ha so, have you looked yeah. at it? Okay, I will should take, uh, you know, at, uh, you know Grant, the next two, few days I will look, I'll go over it, okay? I haven't done Thanks, it Thanks, Grant. What is that? Hey Taylor, yeah, I I have to go through this. I'll go through this and let you know. All right. Um, all right. So um, while the idea here was to try to get enough context to start talking about best practices for handling state in cloud in a cloud native way in kubernetes environments um, i i think these user stories we're going to be able to pull out a lot of other things as well um, you could see networking of course there's availability stuff which ties into resilience and availability um, i didn't hear from uh ildico if if you've seen them but i'd I know you have a lot of familiarity with data handling and the open sect world, so you might be able to provide some feedback here um, or more context as well. Yeah, I, I haven't had the chance to check this one out yet, but uh, I'll do my best. It is 209. Okay. All yeah, right. So I'll I'm, read gonna... it I'm sorry. Busy start of the year. I understand. It's, it's for everybody. So I've, I've tagged you um in the as a reviewer so you can check that out so um to save oliver from doing it again i know you have to leave just a, a quick view here this is somewhat a mix of use cases and user stories so looking at it from the csp perspective and persistence of data and then we have some user stories talking about from the subscriber pers uh, perspective going all the way through and what needs to happen. Um, these, how to deal with low latency uh, updates whenever you're needing to ensure that the data, this specific one has been driven from, um, you could say like, could tie into financial and accounting and other things but there's other <clears throat> reasons to deal with uh, low latency stateful uh, type actions besides that uh, that i think other people could see um this one's kind of related acid compliance so this could be related to potential requirements or it could be um, where they're actually saying they need acid compliance, or it may be that the actual, what, what comes about, uh, what, what drives acid compliance, what's the underlying things. These type of things may end up being, we actually care about consistency and durability. The isolation is not a priority. It's not always, you know, people aren't going to normally try to break these apart, but if you can get down to the, the specific reason, it can be applied in other areas as well. Um, availability. So we already have things that we've been talking about for resilience and availability. There's a lot of stuff around cloud native practices for how to be more available, which in a lot of ways is quite a bit different from how things have been done in the telecom world and how it was done in other domains actually in the past there's been a major shift to try to how do you handle this how do you do availability in these type of dynamic environments where you expect failure that's one of the big things so um anyways and how to recover this would really have to deal with how do we make sure that the services and data and everything are always available. But how do you do that in a cloud native way? Of course, uh, one of the ways in the past, if you're like a Oracle fan or anyone else, 
you may have seen massive systems replicated with big sand storage and everything else. And that's not how you would approach it from a cloud native way. So how do we do that? So there you go, quick overview. Please come check those out and give some feedback. If it looks good, what we're trying to do is just get us some user stories that we think provide enough context to be useful whenever we're writing up other things, best practices and other documents. That's the main thing. And we can always iterate, we can modify, we can do other pull requests to add, update, clarify. Uh, we do wanna get these through. So once we have uh, four or five thumbs up, then we can merge. And I think that's it. Um, let's see. Tom, did you ever get the assessment ready? Or do you just want to share oh, your screen? Uh, you can do. I've, I've given you access um, and all of that because I've got the requests through. Um, uh, which which link? Or uh, the first one. The first one? Yeah. If that doesn't work, I'll try and copy it over to a number. Hey, it worked. Google account. Is it just for me or I can anyone version, access it? I think that version is. I think All maybe right. if we copy it out into something else. I think look, looking back in our Slack chat history, you were going to put it in the Tug Google Drive. Um, oh, that's right. And I don't know. I may have actually put it over there. I'll um, just put that on the to do. Cool. Okay. But yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't reviewed that for probably at least 12 months or so. Um, so I, I will do that and have a think about whether everything's as it should be. All right. Um, do, do you want to chat about it real quick or yeah 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 sure so um i mean this was this was pretty good do you mind if i just let you share your screen and that way you scroll through it yeah that's fine all right go ahead yeah okay got that Um, so yeah, this, this was put together in the kind of early days of um, the what was before the CNF working group. Um, I can't remember what it was called, um, but we were we were thinking about how can we, what questions can we ask to understand the cloud nativeness of something um, from the point of view of the platform. Um, so we're not we're not trying to assess the uh, the cloud nativeness inside the application, which I know um, I know that the kind of CNF test suite has has looked at some of those. So um, these cloud native principles, I think you'll probably be familiar with those. I think they're the ones that, that this group and others have been through a number of times, and obviously missed specs and so it was it was it, i kind of phrased it in my head as a kind of bunch of questions that we'd ask um and and understand whether you know whether something was cloud native or not so you know it's obviously not perfect because nothing's as binary as that um but we we started to use this in in vodafone to sort of just do as a really simple um set of questions to get people used to answer, asking themselves when they were looking at stuff um, as to, you know, what input the operator has to have, you know, how tied is it to specific proprietary hardware, um, et cetera, et cetera. So this, in this current form is not currently used in Vodafone, um, but certainly the, the characteristics and the questions are in different formats. So it'd be interesting to understand, you know, I, I need to go through it again because I haven't looked at it in a couple of years or a year or so. Um, yeah, last edit, December 2020. So um, it'd be interesting to get people's thoughts on, on what's being asked, how useful is it, you know, 
there's likely to be loads of questions, loads of comments and debate around the yes and no parts. But yeah, that was the that was the idea of it was to sort of guide people down the is it cloud native or not? Basically. <coughs> I think it would be nice to have an assessment um, like this for application focus. So when you're building an application, we're thinking about, I mean, this, I guess this kind of covers managing um, deploying as well, but getting that other viewpoint. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Adjusting the questions for them yeah. or a copy and, and making something similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think that should be too difficult. I'm, I'm happy to, to start work on that. That'd be great. Um, I'd, I'd be glad to work with you on that too. I want to put together yeah. a draft and share it with me. Yeah, sure. Does anyone have any questions or comments um, about that or to Tom or just in general? All right, anything else? Not for me, thanks. I'm, I'm gonna need to drop in a couple of minutes, sorry. We'll take my kids for me. All right. Thanks, Tom. Okay, cheers all. Any questions? Just Thanks, everyone. Bye. Y'all, um, I guess we'll end it here and we will see you again next week, same time. Thanks, Taylor. Bye. Thanks, Taylor. Cheers, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.